Namaskar, my name is uh, Krishna. I'm uh, representing Vishwa Samitra Engineering in uh, Hyderabad and uh, Stable Road. Uh, Stable Road is from Germany. Vishwa Samitra is uh, based out of uh, Hyderabad. Uh, our uh, visionary, our chairman, uh, Mr. Uh, Shishya, who was uh, ex chairman to Krishna Patna Court in the state of Andhra Pradesh, uh, he has led uh, uh, the Krishna Patna Court uh, from Norway to the second largest private port in India. Uh, he was also heading the, one of the largest uh, construction uh, companies earlier. And, uh, right now, uh, he has uh, the vision to take uh, the issues of the right top uh, five companies uh, in India. And, uh, it is an exemplary uh, vision along with our uh, late Mr. Uh, Srinivas, uh, one of the many viewers, the CEO as well, and along with our MD, Mr. Anil Hindrubi. They have uh, come up uh, with a great initiative ideas and then uh, come up with these uh, new technologies uh, which they wanted to uh, plan for green initiatives, environmental friendly, and world over they have traveled and then uh, finalized uh, with uh, the Germans, uh, where uh, the uh, German engineering, German manufacturer, best practices in the world. Uh, that's how they have uh, concluded stable road, and then uh, they wanted uh, the same thing to be implemented. The great roads that have been uh, created across the world, uh, they thought uh, this has to be taken to the rural roads uh, uh, in India, the last mile uh, for the uh, rural activity. Just like how uh, Watch by G has uh, uh, introduced this uh, PMGSY. And, uh, now, the present uh, 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 Honorable uh, Prime Minister uh, who has given the connectivity should be adopted to less than 25 population of uh, uh, hamlets or habitats. So, that's how uh, this whole idea has uh, saved and uh, it has been uh, taken uh, way forward. And uh, we started off, uh, our chairman uh, with his originally he thought, let us first uh, start off the project uh, in, in our own port at Krishnapatna. Six years back, we have done the port roads, uh, which has massive uh, uh, truck roads and then massive uh, IC uh, standards. And uh, slowly we start, started venturing into uh, the city roads, the Hyderabad. Uh, the Blades Roads at uh, Vijayawada and uh, the Kerala where we have uh, highest uh, amounts of rainfalls and uh, slowly we venture into Punjab and then uh, different parts of, uh, of India. In Andaman also we have executed uh, uh, a project of uh, around uh, 70 kilometers where I think we are seeing the third monsoon cycle today and uh, so far wherever we have uh, done the roads uh, uh, we have been very successful and slowly uh, uh, the uh, Uttar Pradesh uh, government, UPRRDA, has, uh, we have executed the works for uh, Andhra Pradesh uh, Rural Panchayat Roads and then uh, Uttar Pradesh uh, has come to know through NRIDA that uh, you know there are roads which are getting built with the, uh, uh, this technology MTR slash soil stabilization and that's how uh, UPRRDA has come. And they have uh, planned uh, their uh, uh, visits three times uh, just to make sure under the leadership of uh, ACS uh, sir, Manoj Kumar Singh. Uh, he wanted to give the best roads uh, to Uttar Pradesh because Uttar Pradesh being the biggest state in uh, uh, the whole uh, India and uh, they have seen uh, in the past uh, uh, post-independence uh, the kind of uh, progress they have done in different uh, roads but uh, he wanted to have best roads, the kind of roads what uh, uh, Europe and then uh, the Americas are having. The same thing has to be executed in the state of Uttar Pradesh. So he has done a lot of uh, uh, homework on it, uh, within himself along with his team and then he has come up uh, with the idea, you know, let's uh, he's come to know about the roads that are getting built by us in uh, the state of Andhra Pradesh and then they got, the government got in touch with the government of Andhra Pradesh and then they visited, uh, uh, the first visit, they, there's a team of uh, uh, people from UBRDA, the great uh, uh, delegates have come and then uh, uh, they, have sit, they have spent four days uh, uh, and then uh, they have spanned into different uh, roads, they have seen, uh, they have understood the technology, they have come back and then gave the presentations uh, to their uh, bosses and then to their uh, administrative people here and then 
again they have come in another second visit. They have sat with their uh, uh, local agencies like the REC and then uh, PWDs. Uh, and uh, PWD uh, was a little bit skeptic of the new technology, but uh, still uh, with the uh, able leadership of uh, uh, our ACS sir. Uh, he was hell bent on uh, having the best roads uh, for UP uh, uh, Uttar Pradesh, and then he, uh, he uh, took this up to uh, at the higher level uh, with uh, our beloved uh, Honorable Chief Minister Mr. Yogi Adityanathji, and then with the uh, meeting over there, uh, Yogi Adityanathji has given the clear instructions that. UP needs to have the best roads and uh, he saw uh, the light is going to come very soon with the homework and then the hard work which uh, LCSR uh, has done and immediately has ordered all the PWD team, RECT, uh, uh, RET teams, everybody has to visit again back into Andhra Pradesh, study and then present a paper on what exactly uh, uh, is happening and then uh, the ground reality of uh, uh, the technology. And henceforth again the team has come to Andhra Pradesh and then they have spent the three four days and uh, they uh, uh, finally uh, like seeing his behavior they had a thorough uh, analysis uh, they went through several things uh, uh, and then they finally understood that uh, this technology has to be got into the state of Andhra Pradesh and uh, mm, Quite frankly, with Bhagwan's grace, I mean, they have given a perfect report of whatever they have seen in the field, uh, and then uh, that came out uh, from their hearts that uh, you know that there is no other way than giving a the right report, which the people of Uttar Pradesh definitely needs, and then this government will take it up uh, to the next level. This is how this whole thing came up, and then uh, finally, uh, yeah, UPRDA wanted to implement this. Then uh, they came up with the pilot initial uh, project, and then we also participated in the tender, but unfortunately we couldn't. Uh, we were not L1 in that. And then later on, again, uh, once they came up with the big uh, uh, tender, we participated, and then we are proud to tell you that we are uh, the biggest, uh, uh, you know, takers in uh, the FDR. And uh, uh, along with us, uh, we have our uh, uh, different colleagues who are in the same areas, uh, like Black Red, LSR, uh, AC, and all our other friends. So all of us have uh, uh, come together and uh, formed a, a close uh, net of uh, uh, you know friendly environmental uh, uh, system. And then we went forward and then met uh, the ACSR and our CEO, Mr. Bonasar, and then the entire UPRA team. team. And we all worked like a family uh, uh, along with the uh, uh, government officials and then we told them we are there along with you to take this forward for the people of Uttar Pradesh and then uh, uh, also uh, this has to be showcased to the next level to all the entire uh, uh, Indian states. So this is how uh, uh, right from the northeast uh, to the other states everybody has traveled uh, back into Uttar Pradesh or we went uh, uh, along with the uh, UPRDA team as a delegates to other states and then gave presentations mm -hmm. and then we formed different uh, uh, partnerships along with different IIT, CRRI with eminent uh, people, uh, with the great scientists uh, and also the professors uh, who all uh, are uh, 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 you know, wanting these great technologies to be implemented for the people of India. This is how and this is how we you know, got into the system. And uh, uh, to tell you uh, uh, the, the thing, we are missing a great uh, uh, person, uh, was he was uh, Mr. Srinivas Vallabhaneni, uh, who was uh, instrumental in the band behind uh, the, uh, for the technology to be at this level, uh, with the great support of uh, the entire UBR idea teams, uh, along with the NCSR. Of course, uh, we want to take this legacy forward with the help and support of uh, UPRID. And uh, we are here today uh, to uh, uh, on uh, the instructions and then the uh, request of uh, our UPRID friends to take this to the next level. Though uh, uh, we are a little uh, 
kept aside because of this uh, uh, you know, unfortunate uh, sudden demise of our uh, silvers have happened. But still with uh, uh, heavy heart that we have come down to make sure to be part of this and then we want to take this uh, legacy forward uh, along with UPR and ATU. I'm sure this will be a great success and uh, we are here uh, to uh, educate, knowledge share and uh, give whatever the best that we can give to the local contractors which is the main aim of uh, uh, our UPR and ATU team to bring the whole teams of uh, the contractors who are in the conventional way to get them to this uh, and scale them up to the level of the international standards with this great equipment from Germany and uh, other parts of the world and then the, also the additives which are uh, giving fantastic results and uh, this technology will be shared with all the contractors and we will make sure uh, to get this aim and then uh, uh, the vision for uh, uh, taken forward by whatever our ACS advisor, uh, 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 our chief minister, this will go forward to the entire India with the blessings of uh, uh, our minister and the NRID teams. And thankful for the great part of all of our people, and we are here to support everybody anytime. Yeah. Right. So the main thing is uh, uh, the first and foremost thing is environment and uh, natural resources saving. What are we giving to the next future? Are you thinking that if you are happy and then you live your life, is that the right thing? You just uh, uh, talk to your heart and then come out where you're doing the right justice to the environment. So this is one of the major, major reasons of environment and natural resources saving, which will carry forward to the next generations. This is the main one. The second thing is, this technology is fast. And then the third is, it's durable, it's long term. And then uh, uh, you, you are, you, uh, 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 when you build a road, the, for the next coming generations, they, they, need, they don't need to worry about you know, I'm, I'm pretty much sure uh, our grandchildren can talk about the roads, what we have built. So this is what uh, is the main uh, this thing. And uh, and also, these roads are flexible and then uh, they can always be recycled uh, at any point of time down the future, maybe after 15 years, 20 years or 30 years, 40 years, as these are perpetual uh, payments. The reason is, you don't need uh, any more uh, aggregates or uh, the natural resources from the uh, oral uh, materials. So these are the main uh, aspect and also this is more friendly towards uh, rainy uh, water. Generally payments are uh, enemies to the water but uh, FDR technology using additives they are making this more friendly to the roads of uh, water. So, uh, so generally uh, you know we are giving the best roads durable long lasting Elastic, flexible, vibratory, and uh, they are acid resistant, uh, uh, you know, oil resistant, and they have a number of benefits. Don't look at strength. Strength is not the criteria yet. Strength is just one factor among several of them. Uh, the more the strength it breaks, so uh, uh, just like how in your life you need to be flexible, the roads also needs to be flexible. So this is the uh, angle. We need to get this knowledge to the people. No strength, strength, strength. Don't go on strength. There are a lot of several other factors that needs to uh, come into the picture. So focus on those factors, not the strength.